everybody and welcome back to my channel. In tonight's episode I really just wanted to give you a recap and show you the method of how I induce stress for my guppy research project. So I am going to show you the method I do this the best I can one-handed but we try to make this oven bake clay skewer fish. <laughs> A replica of a cichlid and I just go around the tank the best I can and concentrate on the females Sometimes I just swim around the bottom. I usually go for about a minute. I don't want to stress them, overstress them. I just want to kind of get the point. Let me go over to the other tank. This is the gravel bottom. I do think um, one of the females in this tank is pregnant. She's just now starting to get the appearance of being pregnant. So I'm not sure if it happened in this tank. I've had them about a week or the a tank that I got her from, but it's that blue one right there. She's starting to kind of fill out a little bit. And I have noticed in this tank that when they do kind of cluster in the corner that the yellow male and the one that I've noticed that I think is she's pregnant, they kind of come out and scope the place out before the other ones come out. So that's an interesting little behavior that I've noticed here recently that the little ones, the smaller ones, and the other juvenile male kind of cower in the corner where they kind of scope out and make sure the place is okay afterwards. And they're a little bit more aggressive towards my makeshift predator than the other ones. They don't seem to scare as easily, so I just wanted to give you an update, let you know how it's been going. I've been ca I do have a, a batch of fry that I've been measuring today. I have 18 and they all pretty much measured 0.9 centimeters and it's been day three of having them. So they've grown just a teeny tiny little bit but they are growing so if you have any comments or any feedback just let me know thanks for watching